It's really tempting to talk about a long distance space flight. It's easy to say. Well, why don't we go to Mars? Mars direct. Green Mars, blue Mars, red Mars. Let's go to Mars. Mars is further than almost everybody thinks. It's hard to get there and it's a long ways away. You know, sometimes it's on the other side of the sun. Mars is a long ways away. It would take, with our best of our engine technology right now, realistically, our proven engine technology, it's going to take half a year just to get there. And then, what are you going to do when you get there? And then a half year to get back. Uh, and that really kind of highlights the two biggest problems to me. And one is that you're going to leave Earth and not get somewhere for a long, long time. So the psychological impact of that is going to be that there's nothing in your window. There's no huge, stimulating, uh, omnipresent view of our planet the whole time to look at whenever you're not doing something else. And those crews on the way to Mars are going to have a schism with the Earth within a week or two, I think, because the Earth is now a distant visual memory. And communications are going to get slow enough that you can no longer have a real-time talk with anybody. It's going to be, we'll do a video, you do a video. I'll send you an email, you'll send me an email, but I can never actually talk to you again. And that crew are going to become Martians within a few weeks, I think. They have to for their own psychological health. They will have to no longer be from Earth, and they will have to start viewing themselves as being from somewhere else. And they're going to have to develop an identity. So that's going to be a different thing. The other is um, how do we keep them busy for a voyage that long? If you don't have a purpose to the day, if you don't feel like you're accomplishing something worthwhile, then it's easy to slide into all of the other mental problems that, that people who feel that on Earth are, are, are subject to. And so um, we need to somehow stimulate them, the people that are going that far, on a regular basis. You need you need to be able to get on a bicycle simulator and go for a ride where you randomly turn left and right. It's just as, as you would if you went for a ride on Earth. You need that's like a holodeck. You need that sort of mental escapism or realism to be able to keep psychologically healthy. Or you need a really full suite of science and, and work to do on board that actively challenges and engages you the whole voyage there. And as a result, uh, I don't think we're going to Mars for a long time. With our engines, it would take so long in order to guarantee the safety, to keep the crew healthy, um, the, the costs are going to be so prohibitively high. The frequency of flights is going to be so low um, that I don't think anybody's going to stand up to it until we go to a whole other level of engine technology where maybe we can get to Mars in a month with ion drive so that then, then it becomes practical. Then maybe you could withstand it and show up and, and get back on one whole cycle or something. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot bigger challenge than most people think. And that's not even talking about all the, the technical challenges that, that face us.